Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the BeerCritic.com TV. TV. I'm Brendan. And I'm Scott. And today we bring you Valentine's Day. Oh. Quite unusual for beer critics to be doing Valentine's Two Day. Two grown men to be celebrating Valentine's Day with but, each other. But but in the I heart beer. spirit and I heart love. So uh, in the spirit of this, we thought, you know, this is one for the ladies. Yeah. This is a review for the ladies. For the ladies. For the ladies. I wish I could tell him Barry White. Or the ladies, man. Or the ladies out there. So we don't have any Cavazier, but what we do have <laughs> yes. is as close as we can get to In Valentine's, terms of Valentine's Day beer. Valentine's Day yeah. beer, yeah. Um, they don't make Valentine's beer. No. So we have uh, to It doesn't go. exist. So Next best option. I asked Brendan. I said, Brendan, what's the next best thing? I said, flowers. And I said, you're in. You're incorrect. You're wrong. <laughs> The correct answer is chocolate. Chocolate. Because everybody eats chocolate on Valentine's Day. That's right. So we thought chocolate beer. So we grabbed what we thought were two good candidates because they said chocolate on the label. That's right. So that, that qualified them. Yep. Uh, and that's our Valentine's beer. We have I don't know Rogue. Can you, can you see that Rogue? Yeah, they can see it. Oh, yeah, okay. they're good. We have Rogue Double Chocolate and Double chocolate. Clown Shoes Mexican <clears throat> Sombrero Chocolate. Ole! Uh, Mexican <laughs> Sombrero <laughs> Chocolate. I can't wait to try that because I don't yeah. know what the Mexican spiel is all about. So Yeah, Mexican Chocolate. Oh, yes. uh, we actually have some here at the house. It's pretty good. Oh. Yeah. Great. Yeah. All right. Well, moving on. Okay, uh, so... Uh, normally we do some beer news right now. But right. I think we're going to touch a little bit on some odd facts about Valentine's Day. That's right. Odd. Um, Facts about uh, Valentine's Day. Odd, odd Valentine's fact. For the ladies out there. Now, so what's the first? If, if anybody romantic has, fact. The first. What's the first fact? romantic the fact first you have for us? Christian martyr, mm. Saint Valentine, ah. was beheaded, beheaded on February fourteenth. Hey, that's Valentine's Day. That is Valentine's so Day. So, what are the chances that a guy named Valentine dies on mm. Valentine's Day? It's got to be slim to none, right? I think it's pretty close to him being, you know. That's he was crazy. a martyr, too. He was a martyr. And the reason why he was a martyr is because he married young men. Not to other young men. To women. We, we don't know that. This no. is a long time women. ago. To women. Mm -hmm. uh, in secret. Because right. the emperor at the time was trying to get all the young men in his army, whatever. He found so, out. But, yeah, cut so, his head off in public. Yeah, they cut his head off. In public. They cut his head off. And put it on a stick in so, the square for 37 days. <laughs> it's pretty gruesome. No, they didn't. They so, didn't. Uh, it wasn't 37 so days. My turn. It wasn't on a stick uh, the other romantic fact that we have about this glorious sweetheart of a holiday is yes. um, its actual true origins in the pagan religion. They celebrate a day called Lupercalia. What's it called? Lupercalia. Wow. Now, Sounds like a. This was a very interesting, <laughs> it's a very interesting day in that the men of the village, I would assume, or the, the cave, wherever they lived in, would get together and strip down naked. And after this was done, they would go around the village and grab whips and chains and sticks and things, <laughs> grab a bunch of girls, and yes. then whip them to near death. And this was yes. meant to increase their uh, fertility. Not, not near death. By it whipping, doesn't say whip. It says spank. Uh, okay. It says spank. But if you're spanking with a gigantic leather whip, you're whipping them. Well, if you don't know how big these whips were. So I'm assuming they were huge. Why the men were naked, I, I, I don't I, I'm sure they had their reasons. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. Probably because of the... Ensuing blood origin that followed that's after right. the whipping. Yeah. There's no blood origin. So There's that's no the original origin. romantic gesture is <clears throat> to get naked, grab your girl, oh, bring yeah. her out to the woods and whip her with chains and, and leather strips. There's no chains. No chains. Yeah. And that will uh, get her pregnant, apparently. Right. So you're pagan, aren't you? Yeah. I was, I was born in... I know. <laughs> you're not going to get me with that. <laughs> All right, so All what's right. the next... Anyway, uh, one of the most famous... Heartwarming. Heartwarming. One of the most famous... And this one is actually a nice a nice story about the, the Valentine's Day. The St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Ooh, right? that's right. Yes. Yeah. 
I think uh, that's right. Mobster Al Capone, Tommy Gunn. Yeah, they gunned already. down like gunned down like eighty-seven whole, people. Yes, yeah, yeah. more like ten, but yeah, yeah, you know, ten people. Yeah, that's a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. So, well, only one of them was a gangster. Knows? It could have been fourteen Valentine's yeah. Day, fourteen. So mostly women and children. Well, it was all yeah. it was all gangsters. It was, yeah, it was all gangsters. This is going nowhere, is it? Yeah. Well, a lot of people died. At the hands, <laughs> at the hands of a, of Al Capone or Al Capone, yeah. whoever he hired, <clears throat> or maybe it wasn't right. even Al Capone. I don't yeah, know. So, he, but he was a guy. A lot just of people died. Paying his taxes. So it's yeah. obvious that Valentine's Day is just a repeated version of horrific violence and, yes. and death. So and so. even if you're really, 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 really in love with somebody, you're still gonna die. That's right. <laughs> Very poetic, point, Brendan. Very point, poetic. Point number so 14. So <laughs> on, on that high note, yes. uh, we're going to go ahead and dive into the beers. Let's do this. Okay. So, Crack uh, open the rug, will you? I'll pop, pour, and you walk us through this. The rug. Okay. Uh, bright red. Look, it's actually red for Valentine's Day. Yes, yeah, so actually blood. all over the place, believe it or not. And the reason they use red is because of all the bloody massacres that happened in the history of Valentine's Day. Yep. That's that's absolutely one hundred percent false. True. But moving on. Yep. Uh, Rogue Brewery. We did an episode a couple. Of, I don't know. Maybe oh, one it's back. Motor oil. Whoa! <laughs> Look at that. Uh, based out of Newport, Oregon. Uh, this beer is nine percent alcohol. It's got fifty IBU. Now, is that where the cigarettes come from? Uh, I don't no. know. I'm menthol. Right. Those are menthol, aren't they? Mm-hmm. You're a menthol. I am. It's pagan. Menthol smoking. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Go ahead, Brent. That's quite all right. Uh, That's pretty much it. But like most chocolate stouts or chocolate beers in general, there is some sort of chocolate. And this is actually imported Dutch bittersweet chocolate. It's actually heavy. It's heavy in a bottle. Yeah. So it, um, that is, whew. Stouts are normally dark. Um, Well, what's the ABV on this thing? That's 9%. What about the awards? Does it want anything? Oh, uh, yeah, it's won quite a bit of awards. The 2012 won the International Beer Awards in Australia. 2012, the World Beer Championship Gold. Really? Yep. Wow. Uh, oh, no, wait. Good for you guys. 2012 World Beer Championship Silver, excuse me. Oh. In 2010, oh. World Beer Championship, they won gold. And in 2009, World Beer Championship, they won gold. But Man, they, that's a lot of championships. They didn't win gold in the International Beer Awards out in Australia, so. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, get down under. Deal snifferoo. All right, it smells like a chocolate coffee, right? Did you, did you, did you, did you even jump right into it? I took a quick snip and I jumped right into Looks it. like it's got some kind of like a chocolate meringue on top. Look at that head. Yeah, look, look at that head. That was like chocolate milk, man. That is awesome. That's like pudding. It is. It. Or like a foam of... It's fantastic. Chocolate it's fantastic. foam. I like it. Wow. It's really good. It's got a lot. It's bitter. That bitter chocolate, you can totally taste the chocolate. You yeah. Gotta, it, it, you having a tough time, everybody? If you like You like that, it so much. <laughs> You're feeling for I clumps? like it so much that it's just, I can't verbalize the, the <laughs> words. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I keep going back and thinking it might get sweeter. It doesn't. No, it's because it's, it's, it's bitter <laughs> sweet chocolate. Right? I might keep trying, though. Okay. Oh, damn it. Oh, okay. Wow. All right, so... Um, it's tasty. That is really tasty. Yeah. Uh, tastes like uh, if you took coffee beans and you ground them up, espresso beans, and then you ran, like, oh, espresso. watery chocolate <clears throat> milk over them. I wouldn't even say watery chocolate milk. No, say chocolate milk, milk over the ground up espresso beans. Melted chocolate. into a stout. That's what it tastes like. It's not bad. It's just really, really big on the bittersweet chocolate, isn't it? Yeah. Man, wow. Huge. Well, this is double though, isn't it? Isn't that what yes. this is? This is like yeah. an imperial stout. Mm. I'm going back to it. The aftertaste isn't that bad because the bitterness kind of washes away, and you ended up That's with delicious. this. Delicious. You end up with this coffee, and the only reason I say coffee is because if you ever had bittersweet chocolate, it just tastes like coffee beans. Yes. I mean, that's what it tastes like, you know. <clears throat> He's right. Right. Like, to be honest, it's chocolate. It's like 98%, you know, cocoa beans or whatever. Yep. And it tastes like you're just biting into 
coffee bars. It's very good. If you like that kind of thing. Yes. Okay, so I mean, obviously you like this. Yeah, I think it's uh, I you know, it's a, I've been having a lot of other beers. So when you have a stout, you know, I think you it it's really good. A woman, because this is a woman's, you know, woman's review we're doing. Um, the ladies out there might, uh, if you like coffee, and if you like coffee and chocolate, yeah, yeah, I think you, I think you might actually like this. Yeah, and it's almost ten percent alcohol, so your boyfriend so. will like that you like it, or your <laughs> husband, fiance, or casual <clears throat> encounter. That night, yeah, at the bar, or whatever. Okay, okay. So, let's hit the next one. Uh, you pop and pour, and I talk. So I had enough of that already. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna need this. Where, All right. Where was this? Chocolate sombrero. <laughs> You're probably saying to yourself, Scott, what's a chocolate sombrero? Well, Scott, what's a chocolate sombrero? I'm glad you asked, Brendan. It's a chocolate beer made Mexican style. Now, what's Mexican style, you say? What is Mexican style, I say? Mexican style chocolate is chocolate that actually has chilies and cinnamon. So it's kind of like a spicy chocolate, which is actually one of my favorite types of chocolate. If you that, ever had- Hold on, if that, you, that makes it Mexican? Yeah. Chilies and, chilies and cinnamon. So if I put chilies and cinnamon in anything, I'm you have Mexican. A Mexican chocolate. All right. There you go. Uh, and it, if you've ever had, oh and it's it's popular, but it's not nearly as as thick looking, is it? Well, it's still pretty dark. Yeah, it's pretty dark. Um, so this comes to us from Clown Shoes Brewing, which is actually a Mercury Brewing Company uh, from Ipswich, Massachusetts. So Ooh. it's up in uh, my neck of the woods. Wow. Ipswich, where the plants, where the plants come from. Ipswich. Uh, and this is a stout, obviously, nine uh, percent alcohol, exactly the same yep. as its uh, companion there. This uh, has a completely different smell. Does it really? Oh yeah. So it says on the on the bottle, it says roasted with dark malts plus extra chocolate malts plus ancho chilies plus cinnamon plus Whoa. vanilla extract. <clears throat> Now this I've, is going to be big. Man. I've never had a clown shoes be beer. This is going to be as big as the wrestler on the label. They're interesting because all the labels are kind of weird, and this one is it's got, a it's Mexican a wrestler. wrestler. It's got four arms and four feet. What are they called, Mexican wrestlers? <clears throat> what are they called? They're called Mexican wrestlers. No. <laughs> and that's you're Mexican. I <laughs> know. Uh, I forget. You know. All right. So, anyways, we got we got the news here. Maybe we can look it up. Ooh. That smells actually like more like a beer than it does chocolate, doesn't it? Oh, actually, it's, it smells sweet. Yeah, it's got like a whole bunch have, of different yeah, flavors. Yeah, it doesn't have out. that. Uh, doesn't have that coffee. Yeah. Wow. Oh yeah, yeah that's I got completely. a little bit of the other one. Let's see. Oh, chocolate man. coffee. This is sweet. This is chocolate with a little alcohol smell to it. I mean, it's just as dark. It's oh, not. Yeah. It's actually there. The head on the road is a little darker. This is... Uh, oh, you already, already drank it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got a nice little spice to it. Awesome. Oh, wow. That is really weird. Right? It's get really that, weird. Get a little bit of the darkness. Get a little bit wow, of the... Wow. What the... The chocolate what darkness. What is that? Get a little bit of the... That's the chilies, man. It's crazy, right? Yeah. That's it's crazy. the chilies. It tastes crazy. That's awesome. Call me maybe. Crazy mm. good. Crazy good. Well, the... The thing about the clown shoes is that wow. um, they sent in oh a, a contest name for beer to beer advocate. Yeah, and uh, the name was clown shoes, and it didn't win. And apparently, the brewer got upset and made his own batch, and his batch turned oh. into a brand. Man, oh man, so, that's got a lot of flavor, doesn't it? Oh, it's huge! Wow. <laughs> You know, it does have that coffee. It's because it's a stout, and they all have that kind of roasted malt got coffee thing. But it has that spice, man. It's got like you can a... definitely pick up the ancho chilies. And oh the... yeah, absolutely. In the back of the throat, kind of a little that bit of a burn. Good. It's kind of cool. It stays on your tongue for a while. I think I get the vanilla more in the smell than I do with the actual taste. But there is a sweetness to it, which I mean, it's it's got to be the oh man. It's like little things like jumping on my tongue. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. It's, it it's tastes much more complex yeah. than the other one. 
yeah. than the Rogue. But I think the Rogue was a little bit more refined. Uh, and, and I think that's only because, I mean, kind of hard to beat Rogue. Been, I mean, they're masters in this business. Yeah. But this is... Well, this is double, too, so it's going to yeah. be extra strong. Mm. But it's both... It's the same wow. ABV, so... But this seems to kick my taste buds a little bit harder than the other one. Right? Yeah, definitely. Mm. That spiciness is... Uh, okay. Um, well, for the ladies, would the ladies like this? No, not at all. No. No, no, not at all. No, no, no. Okay. It well, is, does have a little chocolate, does have a little bit, but that... that it's beery. That chili yeah. taste is going to... Freak the ladies out. Drive them away. Sorry, not, ladies. Not all of them. I'm not, we're not telling you not to try it. Please do. Please try it. If you want to go out there absolutely. and try it, absolutely yeah. go out there and try it. So you might actually... Yeah, but they it. make a ton of beer. We'll have to start getting more of their beers. I don't know why we haven't done that yet. We'll have, to, we'll have to dig in a little bit harder okay. into that brand. Uh, so yeah, have, okay. So overall... What do you like better for the ladies? This is a ladies focused episode. You know what? Uh, to be on the safe the side, road. I would just say, just get a box of chocolates. <laughs> get yourself a beer. Either one of these. Would do you fine. know what you could do? And then get a buy box of your, chocolate. Uh, and then open the beer and then have, have a take a sip of it. Have a take a sip. Or just buy it for your yeah. man. And then, you know, unless your man doesn't like chocolate beer, and then don't buy it for him. Because he won't like it. Okay. Yeah. But what kind of audience do we have? I probably mostly men. <laughs> Between the ages of I'm I'm feeling twenty five <laughs> to twenty six. Okay. <laughs> or is that too mature? <laughs> Anyways, both these beers are really chocolatey. Um tastes kinda like coffee beans. Um but <laughs> they're don't listen to him, they're actually pretty good. No, they're they are. <clears throat> they're decent beers. No, they're good. Beers, very good. Yeah, just not what we're used to drinking, to be honest. No, but it, it actual getting used to this stuff, right? Well, yeah, you have to appreciate all styles of beer. So I mean, you know, something about this has this little spicy kick to it, right on the stays right on the tip of your you tongue. You know, I stays right on the tip of your tongue. I like the clown shoes better personally, but I think the rogue will appeal to more of a mass audience. Um, but they're both, what, they're both priced close to the same? Uh, Rose uh, a little more. Rose a little more. Yeah. Rose a little bit more. All right, well, so. still, give me a try out. If you like chocolate, everybody likes chocolate. And you like beer, everybody likes beer. Why not try these out? Why not? You know, what's a few bucks? And you get something cool you try out on Valentine's Day. Yeah. Or whenever. Something interesting. You know, check it out. Okay, All so, right. there you have it. That's, That's our it. That's Valentine's, Valentine's Day, Day Sweethearts special. episode. We gave you some wonderful, heartwarming stories and had wonderful chick beer. And <laughs> uh, check us out online at thebeercritic.com and on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash thebeercritic. Still going with this uh, like sweetness voice, huh? Well, it's for the ladies. For the ladies. For the ladies. Uh, so yeah, check us out. Uh, you know, <clears throat> social media and uh, Vimeo and videos and all sorts of good stuff. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And eventually, we will give away free stuff on Facebook. So, you know, hold tight. That will happen soon. Okay. So, all right. Happy it's been real. Valentine's Day. Brendan. It's been fun. Slancha. It has been real. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>